Shame to next MP, Thornhill. Well, uh, <coughs> wow. <laughs> thank, thank, thank you, thank you all for being here today. It's, it's just wonderful to see all of the, the faces of so many friends and supporters. Many of us have had a lot of history together over the years, and I'm also very happy to see all the new faces uh, uh, today, especially, especially on a snowy Sunday of a long weekend when there's some hockey game somewhere. <laughs> And uh, I understand that we actually uh, we won the game. Is that right? Yes. 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 Yeah. yeah. When, when I left it, it was still a little bit up in the air. I know that we're all going to grow very close as the as the election continues, as we work to make Thornhill liberal again. First, I want to thank Dr. Reza Moretti for his very very kind introduction. Reza is a man who has earned the respect of the community and his constituents. And that he stands here today with me is, is a tremendous, tremendous honor. I, I also want to thank the people who, who put their names on today's invitation. I'm, I'm very grateful to Bernie Fober, known for his extraordinary work as, as the chair of the Canadian Jewish Congress, a candidate for Thornhill in the, in the last provincial election, the, the one before last, to uh, Imam uh, Saeed Farizi of the Al Nadwa Educational Center. He's a good friend and a community leader. I want to thank Mike Matter, a successful business person and community leader, and a lifetime director of the Senator Mandir. I also want to thank Warren Kinsella, who's a, a famous liberal war room uh, leader who can stir controversy with a single word and, and frankly who often sees things that nobody else does. I'm especially grateful. Yeah, that, that's Warren, certainly. If, if you want to read a fascinating, I'm going off my speech now, I'm probably not supposed to do that, but if you ever want to read a fascinating, fascinating political book, read The War Room by Warren Kinsella. It's just, it, it's fabulous. Um, I'm especially grateful to, to Dr. Karen Mock, who fought a hard fight here in 2011. She is a, a world-respected, world-known and world-respected leader and educator in human rights and diversity. And, and Karen is an example of Canadian diversity. And it's she who is very kindly passing the baton on to me. Now, there are those who wonder why I want to be the liberal candidate Thornhill. They look at the last election, they look at the tenor of the writing, the result, the sad result of Thursday's by-election, and conclude that Thornhill is a permanent conservative stronghold. But I look at Thornhill and I see something very, very different. When I came here from Halifax to, uh, to go to law school, the, the Thornhill of today did not exist. Santa Street Deli was in the middle of a field. It was. It was, it was just <laughs> odd. It would drive over and see this deli in a field. It was strange. <laughs> World on Young was a strip mall opposite a car dealership. DeSera Drive, Thornhill City Center were not even imagined. Thornhill Woods. Thornhill Woods was farmland, and Canac Kitchens was manufacturing kitchen and bathroom cupboards in the Green Lane area. And, and where Sobeys is at Rutherford and Bathurst, well, there were goats. <laughs> so fast forward from the 1980s, and Thornhill has changed. It has grown almost beyond belief. But notwithstanding the changes, the new riding boundaries, the new communities, the core, the core that defines Thornhill has not changed. We want a community that is economically prosperous, tolerant, and accepting of all people of good faith. A place with access to good schools, good hospitals, and roads that are not unusable through gridlock. And we need a federal government, a liberal government, that governs with a view to all these things for all the people of Thornhill. And that's very important. 
We do not want a government that governs for one group over another. Thornhill is made up of many different groups. We are different in the same way that the fingers of the hand are different, but together we form a single unit. Thornhill has, of course, for long been a liberal writing. We've grown into a diverse writing, welcoming all who share our desire to work hard, enjoy success, and build a better future for our children. We look around today, look around the room today, and we see people of all backgrounds and origins who share the same goals and objectives. When I move about the community, whether for the campaign or just to buy groceries, I see the children who will be the leaders of our country in the future. Now, as, as Reza kindly said, I have been a liberal for an awfully long time. I've seen the ups and the downs of the party. And what I can say is I am very excited about where we are now and where we will be in the future. Justin Trudeau has brought a tremendous excitement to the party, an excitement that I have not seen in the party for an awfully long time. I don't know how many of you here remember Trudeau mania. I do. I was unborn at the time. No, no, I but I, I remember as, as, a, as, a, as a child having a Pierre Trudeau button, having a, an old 45 record. Do you remember those things, the 45 record, with the song Go, Go, Trudeau? Yeah. People were excited, and they're excited again. Now, we will face attacks. If you listen to the radio, we hear them every day. But unlike our opponents, we are not a party of naysayers. We are a party that offers realistic options for all Canadians. Now, I've traveled across Canada. I've lived in the Maritimes. I've, I've visited every province and territory. Last month, last month, I saw polar bears. I saw polar bears 4,500 kilometers north of Thornhill. I've seen this country, and I love this country. And I know Thornhill, and I love Thornhill. Visiting St. Joseph, the worker, the Mandir, the Al Nawa Educational Center, Chabad at Flamingo, the Baha'i National Center, which I remind people is in Thornhill. I have seen the diversity and the unity of Thornhill. We all care about the same things. Children, our aging parents, how to make a good life on fewer and fewer dollars. Since I started my own business in 1991, I have seen, I have lived firsthand how hard it is to make payroll, to grow a business. We started with three people, and we now employ nearly 30. Okay, 28, but it's close. <laughs> I know the burden that taxes and debt creates, and I'm very conscious of the fact that the government must be fiscally responsible the way that Paul Martin and Jean Chrétien were, and the way that Justin Trudeau is. <coughs> My Liberal Party is socially progressive and fiscally conservative. After a decade of deficits, it was the Liberal Party that took control of the economy, created an environment of growth, jobs, and a budget surplus. It took a conservative government only a year, perhaps a little more, a year or so, to turn that around, plunging our country into debt and stagnation. We now have to work harder and harder to stay in the same place. When I talk to people about Thornhill and the future, they are worried, and <coughs> there's no wonder that they're concerned about the future. Not only do they wonder if their children will improve on their success, they worry their children will do worse. They see the middle class is disappearing, its future insecure, and that's not the way it's supposed to be in Canada. I remember Canada being the country of the future. There's a reason why people came to this country. There's a reason why my parents came to this country. It's to have a better future, not to just do okay. I look at Thornhill and I do not see a conservative stronghold. I see a community looking for a government that represents their priorities and works to reinvigorate an economy which does not have to be moribund. 
And we have a unique opportunity in 2015 to improve Canada. Justin Trudeau has stated in the strongest of terms that our party is laser focused on reinvigorating the middle class of Canada. Instead of creating laws and regulations based on old, disproven ideas, instead of focusing on punishing people, the Liberal Party will use evidence and best practices from around the globe because we can learn from all manner of countries to create an environment of opportunity for Canada and for Thornhill. We owe the party, if I may steal something from south of the border, of hope and change. But we are also the party of the just society. If Thornhill is, is kind enough, is good enough to select me as their liberal candidate, I commit to always keeping our interests at the top of the mind. I look forward to collaborating with, listening to, and working with the community, all of the community, not just one segment, to keep Thornhill an exceptional place to live. Now, I learned early in my career to appreciate and to respect people's time, to say what you need to and then stop. So I'm going to begin to close, but there are a few more things I do want to say. I, I, I want to, to thank uh, some special people for joining us here today, and I am sure I'm going to miss some names, and I apologize for that, but I, I want to especially note Bernie Farber, who, Bernie, thank you, Michael Levitt and Eduardo Ferrari, both here from York Center, and they're both seeking the nomination, Ernie Lustig, the president of, of, of uh, York West, Francesco Sabara, seeking the nomination in Vaughan Woodbridge, Majid Johari from Richmond Hill, Noka Darrow, who is here somewhere. Hi, Noka. And she's a Mississauga School Trustee. Seeking. Seeking. Well, she will be a Mississauga <laughs> School Trustee. <laughs> and you can't find a better liberal than Noka. Dan Fox is a candidate in Ward 24. Howard Shaw, of course, who's, who's Howard's here somewhere. There's Howard, who's a town local councilor. Tony Bag, president of, of uh, Mississauga Arendale Federal Liberal Association, and and of course Khaled Usman, who who came in, and I haven't had a chance to say hi, but hello, Khaled. Don't forget me. I won't forget you. <laughs> Just for last. Yes, Just for last, exactly. Um, I want to just close by saying a couple of other things. This is going to be a campaign that we're going to have to fight hard. We're going to be coming to you. We're going to need your help as volunteers. We're going to need your help as voters. We're going to need your help to come out to lots of events. And, and at some point, we're going to be asking you for money because, unfortunately, we're going to need that to run a good election. The conservatives will be fighting this on every level. They will fight it as low as they can and as high as they can because they will say anything, anything that can let them win. And that's something we cannot afford to do if we're going to have the Canada that we want and we've loved for all these years. I want to finish by thanking specifically all the people who came and helped today. I'm very grateful for all of them. And I, I just, I have a list here, and if I miss somebody, I really apologize. Hila, always somewhere. I'm really, really grateful. Gary, Paul, Carrie, Andre, Yusuf, Benji, Dan, the folks who came out from, from uh, Oshawa and, and areas further to the east. It's great that you're there great that you're here, and I just want to thank you again so very much. Thank you again. Yeah,